seventeenth Sunday in Ordinary Time, twenty-five of July, two thousand twenty-one. Meditation, embraced by the signs he gave by curing the sick. The sacraments are particularly efficacious ways in which Christ, the Divine Physician, continues His work of healing through the Church. The Catechism teaches that, just as Jesus touched and healed the sick during His earthly ministry, so in the sacraments Christ continues to touch us in order to heal us. The Church believes in the life-giving presence of Christ, the physician of souls and bodies. This presence is particularly active through the sacraments, and in an altogether special way through the Eucharist, the bread that gives eternal life, and that Saint Paul suggests is connected with bodily health. The sacraments are crowded in the recognition that the body and matter are part of the goodness of creation and can be used by God as vehicles of His grace. Scripture teaches this sacramental understanding of the word. Jesus sometimes healed people by His mere word, but at other times He used physical means, the laying on of hands, or saliva, or clay. Even the fringe of his garment could be a vehicle of his healing power. In arcs, handkerchiefs, or aprons that Paul had touched were used to heal. In the Old Testament, a dead man was raised up by touching the bones of the prophet Elijah. In a sense, all the sacraments can be understood as a sacraments of healing, since all are efficacious for the healing of fallen human nature. It is preeminently in the Eucharist, the heart of Christian life, in which. Christ's total gift of Himself on the cross is made present and available to us, that we experience His healing power. Saint Ignatius of Antioch called the Eucharist the medicine of immortality. So our response at Mass immediately before receiving Holy Communion is an art of faith in Christ's healing. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. In the Byzantine Catholic liturgy, the prayer before communion more explicitly includes physical healing, May the communion of your holy mysteries be neither to my judgment nor to my condemnation, O Lord, but to the healing of souls and bodies.